Good morning. Uh, here, I have. Uh, I'm going to show you one solution on a problem. The title is given here: maximum range for a special case. The subject uh, is engineering mechanics, and here we are talking about projectile motion. We know that. Uh, when a particle or an object is thrown from the ground uh, and the velocity vector makes an angle of theta with the ground, in that case, uh, the range becomes maximum only when theta becomes 45 degree. Means when theta is 45 degree, the range becomes maximum. This is known to you. This is known to everybody. But here we are talking about a special case and we have to check whether in this case Theta is 45 degree or something else for which the range will be maximum. Okay. Here, say this is the ground. Okay. This is the ground. And, uh, and what? This is a tower. This is a tower. Okay. And from the top of the tower, from the top of the tower, one uh, particle is thrown. One particle is thrown. Here, this particle makes an angle of uh, theta, not the particle, the velocity vector. The velocity vector makes an angle of theta with the horizontal. Okay. Say the initial velocity with which the particle is thrown, okay, is uh, u. Right? So, say the, this is the path of the particle. And the particle reaches the ground somewhere. Here, the point is denoted by B. And here, the initial point is denoted by A. So, it is clear that what is the range? A range will be like this. From here to here, this is the range. So, we need to check whether R is... Uh, 45 degrees or something else for which the range will be maximum. So, what we need to do, this is the velocity vector. Let us uh, resolve this velocity vector into two components. One along this direction, that is the horizontal direction, and another along the vertical direction. Okay, so this is the velocity vector. So, this is the horizontal direction. This is the vertical direction. So, what will be the component in the horizontal direction? This is nothing but u cos theta. So, let us write this component u cos theta and the vertical one is u sin theta. Okay, so these are the two components. Uh, and let us assume that time taken to reach from A to B is a small t. Okay, then what is the range R? Range R is equal to u cos theta into t. Right, u cos theta uh, is a constant quantity, it is not changing because uh, the acceleration due to gravity that is perpendicular to the direction of u cos theta. Okay, so there will be no effect of gravity on the component u cos theta, so u cos theta will remain constant. Okay, therefore the range is equal to the constant velocity multiplied by the time. And the same thing I have written here, r is equal to u cos theta into t. Right, and this is the particle component u sin theta. Okay, this will go on changing with time because acceleration due to gravity is acting on this component. Okay, so uh, so question is how you will calculate the maximum value of r? That is the question. So now, uh, what will be the uh, particle displacement? Okay, this is the particle component. What will be the particle displacement? of the particle when the particle reaches from this point to this point. Here the height of the tower, it is not shown here, say height of the tower is small h. Okay. Then this is the positive direction and this is the negative direction with respect to this point. This is the initial point. Therefore, what is the, uh, when the particle reaches from point A to point B, what is the, uh, what is the, what is the, what, what is the particle displacement? Particle displacement in that case will be minus h. Okay, so uh, we know this equation. This is known to everybody. S is equal to ut plus half 
it is square. But u is the initial velocity and a is the acceleration. Okay. So using this equation, we can write the required equation for this. Here s will be replaced by what? S will be replaced by minus h. Right? And this u, this is the initial velocity. This u will be replaced by this one, u sine theta. So let us write the same thing, u sine theta and t remains same, it is t. Okay. And then what? Half plus half a d square there, but we have to write here minus half a d square because the initial velocity is in the upward direction and the uh, acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction. So with, with a negative sign, I have to write the same thing, minus half, minus half, a will be replaced by g. Right? A will be replaced by g and t even same, it is t square. So this is the equation. Okay. So, uh, so what? So you can solve, this is what? This is the quadratic equation in t. So you can solve this equation easily. Okay. So here you will get two values of t. This is a quadratic equation in t. This can be solved easily. You will get two values of t from here. And then you replace that t in this equation. So you will get a equation, uh, an expression for r where there will be theta and u will be there p will not be there so just solve this equation okay and the solution of this equation is so easy you know that the form of the equation is like ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero the form of this equation is like this okay so solution of this equation is so easy so just solve for t here and just you replace that t in this equation. So you will get an equation of r uh, as a function of theta. Okay. And then you differentiate that r. Means you have to calculate dr d theta. I am not going to show that thing in this video. dr d theta. Uh, dr d theta you first calculate. Okay. And then make it zero. So you will get the condition for which r will be maximum. You will get in that case, you will get theta in terms of h. Okay. You will get theta in terms of h. So you can easily see that theta depends upon h. And in the expression for theta, if you put h is equal to 0, you will get simply theta is equal to 45 degree. Means when h becomes 0, the range will be maximum when theta is equal to 45 degree. Otherwise, theta, the value of theta for which r is maximum, depends upon the value of h. You can easily see. Okay. So first of all, you have to solve for t uh, using this equation. This is one quadratic equation. Okay. You know the solution of this. Here x is equal to what? x is equal to minus b plus minus root over of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Just using this formula, you can solve this. Don't go for factorization. Okay. Factorization will not be easy. Directly you can use this formula. Okay. To solve this equation. So you will get what? You will get. You will get theta. Uh, not theta. It is t. You will get t in terms of theta and h. Of course you will be there. But u is a constant quantity that is known to you. So here t, you will get t in terms of h and theta. And then you replace that t in this equation. Okay. So you will get r as a function of u, theta and h. Then you make dr d theta is equal to 0. So you will get their theta in terms of u and h. u is a constant quantity. So you can see that u depends upon uh, theta depends upon h. Okay. So, uh, so what? So this is the end of this video. Okay. You can easily calculate. Still, if you face any problem, uh, you can write in the comment box of this uh, video. I will show you the solution in the next video. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.